Hi guys, welcome back to Detailing and the Beast. Today I'm going to show you how to do uh, some ambient lighting using the RGB strips and we're going to put that under a sofa um, in my cinema room. <laughs> So this is the sofa that I want to put the ambient lighting in. I want to put it underneath there so there's like a glow out. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick some of the RGB strip to the underside of that lip there. And then run some cables, um, some RGB cables around the edge of the room. So we're going to go all the way around there to the glass plinth at the front. I'll show you that. So there, and I'm going to put some RGB strip under that as well so there's a glow that comes from underneath that. So before we start, there's just a couple of things. Now, usually you will run this using these sorts of controllers here. That's just a power supply. Um, however, I've gone for something a little bit more, it's not complicated, but a little bit more fancy. Um, so this thing here is a wall controller and all you're going to need to do is use the controller that you get with it, so the power supply um, that gives you a 12 volt DC input and you're going to power that into here and here, you're just going to splice the end off, we'll go through that in a minute and then you connect the RGB cable into this and then you mount that into a single gang socket on your wall and I can show you that on mine in a second we're also going to need the RGB strip some extension cable and some generic connectors so this is my RGB wall plate that I've just shown you on eBay this is all dismantled for now just so I can show you all the connections but this literally plugs onto the front of this and this all goes into the wall box. So we have the power cables. They're the 12 volt positive and negative. And then we've got the RGB cable. And that just comes, I'll show you that in a minute, but that's just literally four very thin strands. And that runs all the way around the edge of the room into all the RGB strips that we're going to run. On top of that, I'll go into this again later but we have a Wi-Fi controller so I can control the lights and the colors and the schemes not only from this touch panel but from a phone or a tablet via an app so once you've purchased something like this um, it literally is a case of soldering the ends together um, so we're gonna run through that in a second back at the table so once your kits arrived you will have a length it doesn't matter how much of this RGB strip light, you'll have a, a mass of RGB extension cable and you'll have, depending on how good your soldering skills are, you might be able to just solder this straight onto, onto this, um, but I always like to have disconnectables as well, so you are going to have to do some soldering no matter what, um, but I like to have these, so I've just ordered a big pack of these as well. So. The first thing we're going to do, and I'll go through this and show you this on some footage in a minute, is we're going to run all the way around the room to where we need the lights. So we're going to have it, uh, the power is on the wall, as you can see there behind me. And we're going to run that cable. The cable's already down to the floor. We're going to run it all the way around the edge of that sofa and round to the front where that, uh, where that little glass stand is. Uh, what we're going to do then, so we're going to leave that cable in place, it's fine. Then what we're going to do is we're going to cut these to length. Now, if I can show you, on these strips, you do get, every so often, you see them little gold marks. There, and you are able to cut this at any length. So we can we can be really precise with the lengths we require there. We're going to stick that underneath the sofa and we're also going to stick some of that underneath that glass table. Uh, for this, you're going to need some sort of glue. So I'm using a hot glue gun. It's probably the quickest way you can do it. Um, I have used a staple gun as well um, for stapling some of the cable up underneath that sofa. Um, and you are going to need 
a soldering iron and some very basic soldering skills. Um, and by that, I mean, you're gonna need to be able, let me just get this out of its protective wrapper. You're gonna need to be able to solder them, four little wires onto them for gold terminals multiple times so you're gonna to have to have ish soldering skills so as you can see all i'm doing here is peeling the carpet back i've lifted it off its grippers and then i'm putting that um really thin uh rgb extension cable down between the skirting board and the carpet gripper and then just put the carpet back down um, push it back down and get rid of all the all the little frayed ends um Next is the LED strip itself. As you can see here, these are four LEDs in a section. This is um, not to be confused with the cheaper ones where you only get one of these little LEDs. You can see there the little gold things where you can trim. That allows us to get very, very, very neat lengths. Um, you can see here what we've got is the smaller one. So this is going to go under the glass plinth. That being under a meter only needs one connection. Solder onto the end, jobs are good. However, the longer one that's going to go under the sofa, that being over one meter, will actually need, you can see that cable there, will actually need what I call a hot cable. Um, so you need to connect it, and you also need the RGB extension cable soldering onto the back. So it solders onto this end, and it solders onto the other end. What that does is it stops the, the light diminishing as it goes further down the strip. Um, so it basically feeds in the power to each colored uh, LED from both sides of the strip keeping it a nice even colour all the way along the length. This is what I referred to earlier, so you can see cheap LED strip at the bottom, the expensive one at the top, um, four LEDs per one here, um, so yeah, a lot better if you use, or a lot brighter if you use the one at the top. So first things first, flip that sofa over, um, and then I've got a piece of wooden batten here, um, this is just like architraving, um, and I'm going to screw that to the solid pieces underneath the sofa, this is quite a, a flimsy bottom sofa, so um, I'm screwing it into the wooden beams where I can, and that'll give me something nice and neat to mount my LED strip to. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the strip behind that batten and then tighten the batten down, so as you can see here I'm tightening the batten back down onto the sofa. Uh, and that'll just hold that LED strip in place. And that's it finished there. You can see what uh, what that looks like. And then the connector on that end. The plinth at the front, that is a glass plinth, so no way of screwing into that. So all we're going to do here is, uh, use, with it being solid, is use the hot glue gun and just glue that strip, that meter long or under the meter long strip, onto the uh, underside of that glass. And then when everything's pushed in place, let it set, obviously hot glue doesn't take too many minutes. And then it's simply a case of connecting all them ends up. So we've got a little adapter, plug the two ends into the adapter, and jobs are good and it's time to go and test. Before I show you this, there are a couple of things that I'm going to cover in future videos. One is the light bar trough, which you will see around the top of the room. That's not covered in this video, but it will be covered in another video. And the next thing is the Alexa voice control. Again, I've had a little bit of a dabble with home automation this last few weeks, and this will be covered in a future video. Alexa, switch off lights. Okay. Alexa, switch off the projector. Alexa, switch on ambience. Okay. And Alexa, turn ambient to 80%. Okay. Alexa, switch ambient to 10%. Okay. Alexa, turn ambient to red. Okay. 
And that's it. So I hope this has been informative. Um, it, it, it really is easy to set this stuff up. Um, you've just got to have the right knowledge, which I'm hoping this video will give you. Uh, a little bit of inspiration again, which I'm hoping I've given you. Um, and a bit of soldering skill, and that's it. Um, all for under, what? Well, the ambient lighting for the sofa and under that front bit was, what, less than two meters. So you can pick up an entire kit there for probably less than 25 pounds. Um, as I said, the stuff around the top, um, the light troughs, I am gonna cover that in a future video. The Alexa stuff, um, the integration with Alexa again, I'll come into on a future video, but that controller, you're talking less than a fiver. Um, it's really impressive for the price you pay. Catch you on the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.